Good evening, everybody. It is Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Tonight we are here at the Sumter High School to my many first responders and uh, and community members. We're here doing a one mile run and I'm a fallen sergeant from the state of Arkansas. Tonight I'm running for fallen sergeant Donald Scobie. He worked with the Stuttgart Police Department in Arkansas and his end of watch was December 15th of 2022. He lost his life after he was shot and killed while pursuing a suspect who fled on a traffic stop. He was just 44 years old at the time of his passing, serving four years of service with the Stuttgart Police Department in Arkansas and leaves behind a loving family. Tonight, I'm running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing four laps, equivalent to a mile around the Sumter High School track. We'll be joined by some other members of the community uh, and we'll also be joined by patrol cars pursuing right behind us from the county we're in right now. Before everyone starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and the department through the hard time we're going through and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in tonight, once again, Zechariah here in Sumter, South Carolina, where tonight we're coming together to sadly pay tribute to another hero who's lost his life in line of duty, one of two that we've lost just in the last 48 hours from the state of Arkansas, this, this run in honor tonight of Sergeant Scobie. Served with the Stuttgart Police Department in Arkansas, tragically, as Zechariah mentioned, on the 15th, lost his life after he was shot and killed while responding to a fleeing suspect. Four-year veteran of the agency, sadly leaving behind a loving family. Tonight, once again, Zachariah carrying the blue line flag with multiple other runners and many community members here today that are here to help show their support for the Scobie family. Zechariah rounds the corner. He'll be finishing his first of four laps, which again is one mile tonight to honor the life of this hero, Sergeant Scobie. We always like to take a moment to thank all of the agencies and community members that always come together to help us pay tribute to these fallen heroes when they lose their life in the line of duty. And tonight we are thankful to have the Sumter County Sheriff's Office as well as the City of Sumter Police Department, Sumter Fire Department members here today as well. And we're here at the Sumter High School and we're all here today to come together and pay tribute to a fallen hero from the state of Arkansas who tragically just a few days ago was shot and killed in the line of duty, four-year veteran of his department. Zachariah running tonight for Sergeant Scobie of the Stuttgart Police Department. Carrying the blue line flag, this flag again will work its way to the family following the completion of this run Zachariah actually wrote a note before we left this morning and we'll send that note along with this flag to the family upon our return to Florida. Once again, our way of helping show these families that their hero is appreciated, supported, and honored. As Zachariah completes lap number two and begins lap number three of four, I'm going to go silent 
I'm gonna remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero tonight. Sergeant Scobie, we offer our heartfelt prayers to his family, his agency, and everybody mourning the loss of this hero tonight. We hope this run tonight honors him well. We thank him for his service, and may we never forget his sacrifices. Zechariah doing what he always does. He's catching up to those that have fallen back to ensure no one is left behind. 
where I go in to make sure that everyone who started this run finishes it with the flag. Zechariah doing his part to help make sure that Sergeant Scobie is never forgotten. So we work our way back, we get Zechariah the photo of our fallen hero. Zechariah, any final words tonight for the family of this fallen hero tonight, Sergeant Scobie? To the entire family of fallen Sergeant Donald Scobie, everybody with the Stuttgart Police Department in Arkansas, and this whole family, we hope all will be healed very soon through the passing of your loved one. This week has been terrible for the first responder community, especially being so close to the new year and so close to Christmas, where families of first responders are just ready for them to enjoy the holidays with them. And many, many, many loved ones holidays are shattered because of, I'll say the best I can, because of People that are obviously not making the right choices. For example, Sergeant Scobie was doing a traffic stop and the suspect decided to flee on him. Just like any other first responder, he pursued the suspect and without Sergeant Scobie being aware, the suspect pulled out a gun and shot him. The suspect ended up going inside a house, barricading himself. SWAT team were able to stop the threat of anybody else being hurt. However, another officer was also wounded in this incident. It pains me and it shocks me to see how many first responders pass away and how many first responders get injured because of someone's decision that could have easily been a different, different decision. This person had all matters in their hands, no matter what they were trying to get away from to not take someone's life. Unfortunately, they did not make that decision. Because of that, this loss is unexpected to the family and they had no time to prepare for this type of line of duty death of their loved one. 
So if you are part of the family of Fallen Sergeant Scobie, we want to make sure you know how much of a hero he was. We'll be sending his blind flag. We would have a sight in your hero's honor along the handwritten note I've written, ready to be sent to you. Our prayers here at Sumter and everywhere, everyone across the world will continue to be for you and the comfort and healing process that you need very dearly. Um, thank you all for joining us in this front tonight. If you ran with me, thank you as well. If all of you here and everybody here would now like to join us in a 21 second moment of silence. This 21 seconds will dedicate just, well, this 21 seconds will be just like the 21 gun salute, like many of you guys know. Each second will dedicate one amazing, one, one thing that Sergeant Scobie did during his life, including as a first responder. Following this will also be a prayer. So if all of you now, please join us in this 21 seconds. If all of you now, please join us in this 21 seconds, followed by the prayer. Please join us in this time. Dear God, tonight we did a one mile run at the Sumter High School. In honor of fallen Sergeant Donald Scobie of the Stuttgart Police Department in Arkansas. Lost his life due to being shot and killed while pursuing a fleeing suspect during a traffic stop. God, it happens so many times. First responders randomly have to be put in a situation that's life or death. Sergeant Scobie is a great example of this. A normal traffic stop turned into a loss of a fallen first responder. Because of how unexpected this was to anybody, the family also had no time to prepare for this loss of their loved one. So God, I pray you guide them to this run tonight online. Show them that there's people across the whole entire nation, not just in their community, who are helping them through this loss. And I pray you guide all these first responders who serve in the Stuttgart Police Department to this run tonight as well. And show them that not only are we there for them, but let them know that Sergeant Scobie is still with them at every single call in spirit. God, I also pray you watch over every first responder who serve at Stuttgart Police Department. I pray for their protection. And I pray for every first responder's protection, as I know this week has been very hard for the first responder community. Thank you again, God, and Jesus, we pray. Amen. We appreciate all of you joining us in this one-mile run tonight. I appreciate everybody here, here making this run happen at the Sumter High School. Um, tomorrow morning, we will be giving a $10,000 check to a injured first responder here in the Sumter area. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back, unfortunately, on Monday to do... Sorry, we'll be back, unfortunately, on Tuesday. Sorry, on Monday to do more miles. Uh, except I won't be doing the miles. It'll be for a fallen first responder in Texas. Um, Say a prayer for our first responders. We have many runs to be caught up on, and I hope that well, we don't have to do as much in the future once we're caught up on all of these first responders. We hope all of you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.